Just sitting there. Can you guys hear? And, uh, later in the night, EMS Aphrodite asked if we were doing helicopter training because she saw a helicopter. And uh, instead of saying no, Cornboard just says 10-3. And I'm next to Slack and I said, why is he doing that? And then Slack said, it's just a joke. All right, I don't come from like a leadership background, but I do come from a company background. And Slack seems like the kind of CEO that had a really good office one day with a with fully staffed, full custodians. He could kick a french fry under the table and it would get cleaned up overnight. He is currently the one supposed to stock the vending machines, clean up the tables, clean the shitters. But he's still treating it like there's a, a full staff of custodians cleaning up after him. And the ants are starting to find those french fries. I, I don't have the privilege to just switch shifts and be like, okay, I can just avoid the problem. I'm not coming here to be like, hey, you know, corn with this, corn with that. I'm coming here because the one custodian in the shift isn't isn't cleaning up anything. And I've been, I definitely have heard people make fly comments in the meeting room about his, I don't his remember. negative dap point, which I don't think he's actually doing, but I think someone was commenting on that he just doesn't, you know, do it. Feel free to come to me with any issues you got. Oh, howdy, y'all. Hey, doing Cornwood? I'm doing good. Hey, Duncan, you did a damn good job yesterday, by the way. I just want to let you know. With what thing? I mean, just in general. I, I thought you were doing damn good. Falling slacks around, Thanks. and, and uh, he's been speaking highly of you, man. He he, he really has, and uh, I, I think you should be proud of that. Yeah, I, I, I am. <laughs> Thank you, Cornwood. Uh, I appreciate that. Absolutely. I mean, shit, I, I've done this a long time, and I think you've... I mean, I think you're one of the good ones, really. <laughs> you've got the right head. I don't want to, like, put you on blast, but I, I wish you would also do what you you would say, you know? You say, do as I say, not as I do. You should do as you say and as you do. Oh, hell yeah. I mean, I was just making a joke among the, uh, the FTOs whenever we were helping with Academy. Excuse you were helping with Academy? Yes, ma'am, I was. I was helping with gun safety. Um... Interesting. Uh huh. Anyway, what what are y'all doing up here? Ah, uh, you know, I've been spending a lot more time up here. Kind of like it. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, shit. Yeah, this place yeah. is this place is nice. Yeah, I've been doing all my interviews in my office there. Really? Okay. Well, that's good shit. Yeah. I mean, I, I came up here I think last week. Malton told me about it. He said he came up here to Little Texas and uh, wanted to it, uh, Little Texas. Uh, oh, oh, that's just what I call it. <laughs> Why is that? Just because it's dry and the snow, the sandstorms and stuff. Oh, I mean, that's just. I mean, it just reminds me of you know. The good old days. Anyway, I just, uh... What brings you all the way up here? Oh, I just got into town. Sometimes I, you know, I drive through here, and... It's funny, actually. I, I, I saw two PD vehicles out here. I was like, oh, what the hell's going on? But, uh, so I, so I, I just came, and I was checking it out, and I just, I just saw y'all in there before I uh, sat down. Y'all heading back down? Can I get a ride with y'all? Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, dude, no just, dude, the drama is so funny. <laughs> So Duncan hates Cornwood, and he's just a, his character is just like a snitch. I don't know what his motive is, but he keeps snitching to everybody. He's snitching to Turner, and he's snitching to Ruth. So Duncan is doing this whole snitch RP arc, which is like, it's super funny. <laughs> All right. Cornwood, look at Andrew. Show him the thing. Look at the, look at the hat you told me to put on. Do you want to... Okay, what was it? Sorry. Here. Oh, damn, that's a nice hat. Did I tell you put that on? I don't remember that. Yeah, you said to go up to Little Texas <laughs> Andrews, while you were out at the farm. Andrews. Don't Wait, what happened? Do oh, any oh, units oh, currently oh, have oh, the... That. Archer's hat's more manly than yours, and that's a woman's hat, too. What are you talking about? What is it? Look, it's a little this pink This, was, this little wasn't pink my ribbon. original hat. I had a different hat on, and then I showed it to Captain Slack, and Captain Slack <laughs> was like, absolutely not. I was like, what's wrong with the hat, sir? He's like, it's not black. So then I went and I put this hat on. Yeah, but that, but ain't, that ain't black neither. Well, Aunt, Aunt Captain Drew's, Turner that, was like, that was absolutely mistake. not. That no was hat. Mistake. Who told you we to should, wear that? We shouldn't have gone to Turner. We should have gone to Slacks. I thought we were going to Slacks. So I put on this hat and then you went to Turner and I was like, oh shit. Archie will what absolutely throw you under the bus. Archie will absolutely mean? throw you under the bus. But I, I, did, I walked out I with my hat on. Clean. I put my I put my chest out just like you do, Mr. Cornwood. And you know what Archer did? Before she even got out of the car, she took her hat off. I did do that. So I was standing there by myself wearing this. <laughs> you told me to put a hat on. Mr. No, I did not. The only reason I would ever tell you to wear a hat is to cover your damn hairline. Mr. Cornwood. I got to talk to Slacks right quick. I'll be right back. Hi, Slacks. Hey, I, I got to talk to you about some shit I heard. 
Well, do you want to start with my shit or your shit first? Uh, wait, what'd you hear? Well, I'm coming to talk to you because you got a few officers saying that you give them permission to wear a hat on duty today. I mean, I probably would. Sounds like something I would do, but I don't remember doing that. Are you talking about Archer and, and Andrews? I'll tell you. You saw the hats they were wearing. I don't know why. Those they... hats they're wearing. I, I don't think that's what that's going to tow truck down to the house. Yeah, I mean, so, Andrews is wearing a woman's right. hat. Like, why is he wearing a woman's hat? They said they got permission from you. I guess I'll go talk to them, and if they don't tell me the truth, they're probably going to get dabbed. Yeah, maybe right? it was a misunderstanding, because I don't remember, uh, yeah, I don't remember having done that. Oh, hey, howdy, Andrews, how you doing? Officer Andrews. You? Did you get howdy. rid of that damn woman's hat? Why are you wearing a woman's hat? He told me to put a hat on, and that wasn't a woman's hat. That was a <laughs> cowboy hat. I was, I purchased that in Little Texas. Did I tell you to do that? I might have said hide your hairline or something. He told me to patrol Little Texas, keep it safe while you're at, and put on a hat and glasses slacks, just look, like I mean, you. Slacks, look at that thing. Mm. No, no, the hat is terrible, for sure. No, I'm talking I about the hairline. Agree. Oh. Here, look, I, you told me to go get a black hat, sir, because remember you said the other one wasn't black? The so yeah, I the went black and, cap, I went the black cap, yeah. Yeah, yeah, here, let me show you what I got. Okay, so I got this, that, I got a, that I got one, a, that one, no, like a, like, 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 like a baseball cap. Oh, a base, then why did you say baseball cap? I, I well, wouldn't so, put, so also, I went and got this black hat. one, and then I that asked, is a asked hat Turner, hat. and Turner said no hats at all, that's when he called you. Really? And then he said Corwin was going to get dab points. Oh, shit, the good ones are the bad ones. But you know what, Corwin? No, I told the, the I, I, I take I oh. take the points because I, I'm the one that put the hat on. You want to take the blame for it? Yeah, I'll take Corn was dap points. All right, Officer Andrews is getting dap one point for a minor uniform violation. Does that mean I need to change the boots too? You got boots on? Yes, change the boots. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even see those until you mentioned it. Uh, Cord, why are you wearing women's boots? I'm not wearing women's boots. Do not, don't you yeah. dare. Yeah, the the women's boots have more pointed toes, just like those. No. See, these these are men's boots. No. All right, so clues. What do you want to talk about? You see, some information. Yeah, I should, should talk to somewhere. Slacks, I should, I should talk to. I went to Cornwood. Is this sensitive information? I believe so. Okay, we should probably go somewhere else then. Here, I'll follow your car. Corwin's being very secretive right now. He's doing some secret scroll shit. Yeah, I got. I got. You take your medication today. Yes, I, I have to have a word with Slacks. I, 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 I was trying to talk to him earlier this morning. All right, what's going on? Talk to me. We, we, should, we should go somewhere. Away from here? Yeah, I don't think we're safe here. Safe? You got me scared right now. What do you mean? Yeah, here, just come with me in the car. <clears throat> okay. Oh, every time I walk in here, it's like walking through a memory lane for sure. I know it's nice, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, the old sheriff's office was never like this. I can tell you that for a fact. I mean, it got destroyed, it got taken over, and then this one got rebuilt. Here, let's uh, let's have a seat. <clears throat> Here is the long and the short of it. This morning, I uh, got on duty. I stayed the night up here. Uh, you know, I drove down, you know, maybe borrow... Uh, I was planning on borrowing a car from my cousin Bobby. When I got out of the motel, I see two LSPD vehicles up here. I say, oh shit, what's going on? I walk in, I sit down right outside, right over there. Can you see through them, them blinds? And I cannot believe these words are coming out of my mouth, Slacks. But I'm saying this to protect you. I hear Duncan farewell. Bad-mouthing you and myself to Ruth. Really? Uh-huh. And I cannot believe I'm saying this. Duncan's a good one, you know. I think I think he does a fine job. Yeah. I thought I could trust him. Yeah. I thought I thought I could call him a friend. We can see, uh, you know, past the rank. Yeah. It's not about subordinate and superior relationship mm -hmm. it's about two brothers who spend time together in a patrol cop car and go out there and battle crime I, I didn't think too too much of it at first i wasn't too sure and then he said something to me afterwards because they saw me when they walked out here i was like hey how y'all doing right and i talked to him he says to me you know he thinks that uh, I, I i say a lot of good things but i don't do a lot of good things is what he said he thinks that i'm a poor example for the uh, uh for the new cadets for the recruits and he said he doesn't blame me, and uh, he ain't mad at me. But he said the problem starts at the top. Those were his words, and it trickles mm -hmm. down. Mm -hmm. Now, now you tell me. Mm -hmm. And he's throwing shade to the top two. If he's talking to Ruth about what I heard him talk about, and if he's saying that to me, then he's talking about either Turner or yourself. Knowing that he specifically mentioned the shift that, that we're on, as he wants this shift to be better, I would be inclined to believe that he was talking about you. Funny enough, okay? You know, you know, you know what he told me about today? Mm -hmm. We need to think about the future. Six months in advance. He doesn't think I'm capable as a captain. Really? Like you ain't, Absolutely. You're just, you, so, so you're led to believe that he thinks you're incapable as a captain because he thinks you ain't thinking down the road? 
Yeah, he's, he wants me six, six, six months in advance, and I told him, listen, do your job. That's your responsibility. Don't worry about things above your pay grade. Hmm. That's none of your concern. So he had you this conversation You focus on patrolling and being a beat cop. Look to other things for the captains and the folks that are going to be in the chain of command. Really? I love Duncan, but sometimes he sticks his nose in other people's business. And I don't appreciate that. Mm-hmm. Hey. <clears throat> Oh, howdy, Turner. Howdy. Turner, you having a good day? Doing all right. Yeah. It's funny, I was what literally... What I we was, got going on up here? I was having a word with Slacks. You want to come in? Absolutely. Yeah. Howdy, Slacks. Why Slacks so quiet? I'm just excited to see you. Cletus brought me here for, for two things. One, we talked about the hats. I'm motioning at that point to Officer Andrews because uh, there's a miscommunication. Cletus never told him to wear a hat. He was talking about his hairline. He told me you said it was okay. No, I said I said baseball cap. We have no cap with our uniform. Yeah, but it, he was. It's sunny outside. I mean, the sun is beaming on your head. What are you supposed to do? Die? No, not wear a hat. Turner. We, we agreed outside. in the very beginning. We are it, not wearing hats with it, our uniform. Hot. Okay, we can wear the one that comes with the uniform, the the city hat. We gotta protect our officers. If they want to wear that one, that's fine. But but no cowboy hats, no baseball caps. And on top of that, I issued him a dap point on top too because he wore it after I told him not to. Okay, so he's getting two death points in total, man. Anyways, Cletus, is there anything else you want to share with us? Uh, got on duty this morning, rode the train into town, and I noticed two police officers. So, of course, I come inside, and I see Captain Ruth, and I see Duncan Farewell having a conversation in this very room. And I sit there, and I wait, perk up my ears a little bit, and I'm saying, what, what the hell are they talking about? And those words involved what, in my opinion, is uh, slanderous remarks about uh myself and uh captain slacks uh farewell comes up to me and he talks to me about how he thinks i say a lot of good things but i don't do a lot of good things and how he thinks that i'm going to be a bad influence amongst the new recruits obviously i completely disagree with all uh, right you know, that was duncan that was duncan he told me that uh-huh. and then he told me this he said it's okay you don't blame me he said it starts at the top and it trickles down he's saying the other captains ain't doing their job to, to old Captain Ruth, which uh, I believe is is a dadgum travesty. I, I would never have expected him to have said that. Um, out of respect to the captains, of course, uh, do not spy on any conversations. It's something we'll address. I really appreciate the information you bring to us. Very interesting. Yeah. yeah and I, I ain't one to damn stir the pot or none of this or none of that. And I just come in and try and do my job, and I was just disappointed because I personally, I think, I think Duncan does a fine job. I think, I think he's, he's, I think he'll be a hell of an officer someday. That one hurt a little bit. Definitely stung for me as well hearing that. Mm-hmm. Was, like I, I spend a lot of time with Duncan, so to have somebody so close to you, you can trust, just go behind your back instead of talk to you about the problems, hurts. I don't believe I heard Captain Ruth speak ill of, of either of y'all, or even though she did walk out of here and call this her office. Which, I mean, I, I was, I mean... Interesting. It sounds like she's disrupting the Very. chain of command. I mean, as far as I'm concerned. She is a chain of command as well. Yeah, she's disrupting herself. That's like, that's like me stopping at a red light. I'm obstructing my own justice, you know? Well, anyway, just... You should be stopping red lights, though. Right, right, right. There's a couple ways I see it, but I think ways that I'll be talking to Slacks about. Yeah, like I said, it's, it's, it's been delivered through chain of command. You've done your portion of a job. Cletus, I really appreciate that a lot, and uh, it's up to us uh, to address it and make sure that um, you know, our lines of communication isn't backwards. Turner, can I talk to you outside? Yep. Dude, I think I think Duncan as a character is hilarious. He's literally like he reminds me of like Toby from The Office. Like it's so it's so funny. So Duncan is actually stirring up unrest in the PD. Is this part of a bigger deal that Corwin doesn't know about? I have I actually have no idea. There hey, there's storylines to develop here. I can't go to bed before these storylines hit. Mr. Corwood, what were you doing with Captain? It has Slack? to stay between you and me and don't tell him. Hey, what, what, what is it about? You can't tell nobody. I heard Duncan Farewell speaking ill of Captain around Slacks around. and potentially Captain Turner as well. You're full of shit. I swear. What actually happened, Mr. I'm, Cornwood? I, I ain't joking. I wish I was. There's, who is that? Howdy, Archer. How are you guys doing? <sighs> I'm good. Interrogation, Archer. Sorry, what? Started the interrogation. No, and, Andrew, I got to tell you later. It ain't a big deal. I told you it's private with me and Slacks. I'm not telling either of y'all. No, you're not it ain't bad. Y'all ain't in trouble yet. Or y- y'all ain't in trouble. What I don't know why yet? I said I, I did not mean to say it. I actually, what do you mean yet? I, act, I actually didn't mean to say yet. I just say that so often that I, <laughs> I accidentally said yet. Why are you being so secretive? No, nobody, literally nobody is in trouble. 
Why don't you just tell us I, what's no, going I don't, on? No, we I can don't, help you, Mr. Coldwood. No, I, I'm fine. It's fine. Y'all y'all are fine. Why are you pacing? Because y'all I'm so people are listening. You never know. There's nobody here. There could be thousands of people in them bushes. You know you we're not, not going to stop favor. until you no, tell I'm us. I'm telling y'all. Yeah, I am doing y'all a favor. Mr. Corwood, just tell us. We're I am we doing, are most trusted friends. Trust me, I am doing y'all a favor. Is it something good? Uh, potentially. Will you tell us at a different location? No. All right, good work, fellas. <sighs> anyway, Mr. Corwood, the words of a great man. It was a damn good day, Andrews. It was a damn good day, Andrews. It was. But you know tomorrow, what? You hey, still haven't done tomorrow. no police work. Yeah, I'm sure you will be. Uh -huh. And I'm going to be like, hey, we're going to do police work today, Mr. Cornwood. <laughs> yeah, of course we are, Andrews. And we ain't going to do any police work. <laughs> and it's going to be like day nine. It's been, a, it's been a hell of a time being back, Andrews. It really has. Tomorrow's my last uh, day being able to sleep in. Wait, shit. How many damn daydreams do you got a week? I daydream four times a week, 10 hours a day. My Lord, you got to get a job, Andrews. God damn Twitch streamers think they fucking rule the world. <laughs> just sitting in their damn chairs. They get paid to go pee and shit. They don't even their fucking chairs make more money than me. To live through this town for the simpler city life. But all he found was a crown filled land of strife.